Hello everyone! Hiya folks! Well, welcome to another Vanus collaboration with other like-minded YouTubers. And today's topic is the top five unwritten rules of motorhome etiquette. That's right. That's a bit of a tricky word, isn't it? It is. I, etiquette. I have to spit that one out. Yeah. <laughs> So there'll be other YouTubers uh, doing this collaboration and their logos will be above. Or this side. Yeah. Oh. And their channel uh, details will be in the description below. So yeah. please pop over and view their videos as well. Yes. Right. So, we number start? one. Number one. Okay. Now, <laughs> number one is waving to fellow motorhomers. Yeah. Now, this is a funny one because... A motorhome was coming towards us and they started waving and I couldn't figure it out for why are they waving at us but we soon got into the knack of waving back now Julie loves this don't you I do <laughs> and when I see a motorhome I go look there's a motorhome coming and I wave yeah. and it I don't know it just gives you that um I think it's because there's not many on the road so yes. as soon as you see one it's it's a it's unique like, oh, there's experience. A, there's another motorhome. Yeah. And it's I, like a brotherhood. Yeah. I mean, I have done it when caravans have come by, and I, I thought, oh, I'll give them a wave, and I've waved, but they don't wave back. No. Unfortunately. But we're just, because we've never owned a caravan, we're just wondering whether our fellow caravanners, do they wave at each other or not? I don't think they do, no. No? It may be because they're in a car. Although, saying that, yeah. when I'm in my car, you forget, don't <laughs> I forget. you? forget. And if um, <laughs> if I'm driving, or even if I'm the passenger and a motorhome comes by, I wave like that. And then and I, I say, suddenly think, oh, they haven't waved I back. I say, what are you waving they... at them for? Yeah. You're in the car. That's right. <laughs> and they look at you gone out. You're thinking, well, oh. Well, that's our first one. Number two is when on the road. So we think be courteous to other drivers because your vehicle is bigger than a car. Yeah. Um, maintain a reasonable <clears throat> speed. Um, we also think you should make sure you use your indicators properly, uh, leaving a roundabout or turning a corner or whatever. So you're telling people behind you what you are doing and also be aware um, of the limitations of your motorhome. Yes, with um, regards to bridges. Yeah, bridges and Especially narrow lanes and things lanes, like yeah. that. I do so. all that, don't I? Yes. <laughs> Number three is when you are stopping overnight off-grid, okay, uh, park in a uh, proper parking area, okay, so respect the laws of the land and... Um, Keep any noise to a minimum. Yes, keep noise to a, a minimum. Don't go out having a party. Keep your TV down. Don't upset the locals. And in the morning, when you're leaving the site, leave it cleaner than when you've parked up. Oh. Number four. Number four, yes. Is uh, when you're on a campsite. Again, respect your fellow neighbour. Yeah. Uh, Keep noise down, again, to a minimum, yeah. especially when there is a cut-off point. Respect that cut-off point and mm. don't make loud noise after that because yeah. we have noticed that sometimes, haven't we? Yeah. I when, mean, you know, it's quiet, but then you hear somebody with a really loud telly yeah, or yeah. they're playing music really loud. I mean, you're there to try and relax, aren't you? Yeah. Have um, a, a nice time, relax in a peaceful environment. Respect the space and privacy of your neighbour. Yeah. Do not cut across their pitch. Yes. Um, to get walk. to a dog walk uh -huh. or to go to the toilets or whatever. Yeah. You know, they've, they're they renting that That is that their pitch. space. Pretend yeah. that is their private property. Don't go on to it. That's right, keep mm -hmm. off it while they're there. Thanks. If there's nobody on a pitch, at all then that's a different matter you mm. could walk across it couldn't oh, I you, you could, yeah. yeah also uh if you've got a dog don't allow your dog to wee 
against, um, I don't know, their awning or... Oh. <laughs> yeah. I or... mean, it sounds funny, but it isn't. If it was your motorhome, you wouldn't be very happy, would no, you? No. Make sure they don't foul on anybody else's pitch. And if they do foul on any paths that are around the campsite, make oh. sure You've you pick, pick it, it up. up. Immediately. Yeah, yes. and put it in the proper waste disposal so bin. So always carry um, dog, dog liners. <laughs> Dog <laughs> liners. Yeah, what do you call? <laughs> poo bags. <laughs> yes, always carry poo bags. <laughs> Never take your dog for a walk without poo bags. That's Remember right. that golden rule. <laughs> Yeah. So that's number four. Right. Archie's just jumped up. He wants to be on the last part of the video. There so, we Arch. Our number five is being considerate on the campsite with uh, regards to yeah resources what you use on the campsite i.e electricity water and other facilities yeah. don't forget there's other people on the site and not just <laughs> yourselves so don't be wasteful basically. yeah don't don't leave your electric on all day and night and if you're not in the van yeah. or whatever yeah. the yeah. same with wi-fi if it's a limited wi-fi you know don't start trying to upload or download films or things like that just <laughs> blocking it for everybody I think, else yeah i think really it's only yeah. only there the free free wi-fi for emails and messaging and texts yeah if you go to any of the services on the site make sure you leave it cleaner than what it was when you arrived there yeah. And I think that's about it, isn't it, really? I think so. You yeah. know, our, they're our five. Mm -hmm. um, be interesting to find out what everybody else has come up with. That's true. So watch everybody else's video on the playlist. And we'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye, so bye for now. So bye for now.